Welcome to the weekly dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. Today we're going to talk about the idea of Shabbat Kodesh being a private time, a time where we're able to privately have our, our time alone with Hashem. And I want to talk a little bit of the idea of bringing and connecting that idea to why it is that the non-Jews are not allowed to, so to speak, um, uh, celebrate Shabbat as we do on Shabbat itself on Saturday. Why is that um, a, uh, an issue? Why can't they celebrate Shabbat? What is it that Shabbat um, is only intended for the Jewish nation? So when we look at the Rambam, the Rambam actually issues an instruction that non-Jews are not allowed to create a religion. They're not allowed to make up their own mitzvot. And what he means is, is that if a person, a non-Jew decides that he wants to observe the day of rest, on a certain day he essentially is creating a certain religion for himself and that he's not allowed to do. And so therefore, um, when a, a non-Jew says, I want to keep the Shabbat, even if he creates it on a Sunday, essentially he's really not allowed to do that because he's calling um, for himself, he's expressing a religion, a different type of a religion through um, his uh, keeping of Shabbat, uh, of the Sabbath, whatever you want to call it, that they call it on, on a Sunday. And, and therefore, he, he's not allowed to do that. So just so that we understand that, that aspect, now let's move on to the aspect of why the Jewish people, um, what Shabbat signifies. So the Ram, by, by understanding this, this point of religion, what, it, what the Rambam is basically saying, that when a non-Jew decides to um, keep Shabbat, he is essentially creating his religion, creating for himself a religion, which means that by us keeping Shabbat, we are essentially um, uh, keeping our religion, okay, which is one of the reasons why now we understand that when, God forbid, a Jew desecrates Shabbat, he's actually called uh, as if um, totally uh, rebelling against the entire matter of religion. He essentially loses his religion, and th that's that's how important the Shabbat is, and that's what it signifies. Essentially, the idea of religion as a whole. Now, um, Shabbat in itself is is um, also an expression of walking modestly with the ways of Hashem. The Nefesh Achaim actually brings down that the idea of Dvikut and coming closer to Hashem, that is essentially felt at most, which we know, by we, we're, we've been learning it, that on Shabbat we essentially get to uh, come closer to Hashem more so than the entire span of the work week. And so from here we understand that the idea of being with Hashem, being close with Hashem, on Shabbat Kodesh, it's a, it's a time where we're actually able to be private and alone with Hashem. And when the non-Jew, the Gentile, decides to make his own day of rest, and he decides to keep the Shabbat, he essentially is putting himself in a position where he has a private audience also, so to speak, with Hashem. And that's not something that he is allowed to do. We're, we're actually having this private time with Hashem because he instructed for us that we are supposed to, he is making, so to speak, his time available for us on this particular day to have that special intimate relation relationship with Hashem. And, and uh, another aspect that happens on Shabbat, which we do more so than in the rest of the, the, the work week, is we also have our special tefillot. And again, this is all intended to bring upon us this idea of being aware of Hashem's presence, to be able to have that personal relationship with Hashem, have this closeness to Hashem. That is something that Hashem instructed for us, kept for us. We have that ability to have that private time with Hashem. To walk modestly with Hashem means to have privacy with Hashem, to have this special relationship with Hashem. What is modesty? Modesty means having a, uh, something that's uh, private about me that I'm only sharing now with Hashem. And nobody else is allowed to intervene in that. 
that's a crucial point and a crucial aspect and fundamental principle that Hashem gives to the Jewish people. That's the foundation of Judaism, that we are in the presence um, of Hashem on Shabbat Kodesh. That enables us to have this uh, sense of awareness that we take with us for, throughout the entire week. And so that essentially is one of the reasons why the non-Jews aren't allowed to celebrate Shabbat because they don't have, um, they weren't meant to have that private one-on-one -on -one closeness to Hashem as the Jewish people were, were given. And uh, so hopefully that gives us a little bit more of a sense to cherish the time that we have with Hashem on Shabbat. It's a time for, for privacy where we, we essentially are also expressing our modesty, our tzniut, men and women both, on Shabbat Kodesh because we're alone with Hashem. We get to, sh to share with Him those intimate, that intimate part of me where I'm able to actually experience, it, experience the true self, who I really am. That's something that I can only share with my Creator. That's tzniyas. That's something that only is available and given as a gift for the Jew, uh, for the Jew to feel um, uh, with with Hashem Barach, and not for any any of the other nations, they have their, of course, their seven mitzvot, and they should cherish it and abide by it, and so on. But that is what sort of stands out and, and is unique in terms of the Jewish person uh, keeping Shabbat. So Be'ezlat Hashem, let's, let's cherish that gift. Let's understand that it's a private time. It's a special meeting place between us and Hashem. And Be'ezlat Hashem feel like we're really coming so close to Hashem that there are parts of me that I won't share with anyone else, but I'll be able to share with Hashem, particularly on Shabbat Kodesh. Let's have a wonderful Shabbat filled with Kedusha and Simcha and Sniut.